Today on this cold spring day, several families gathered inside Hershey High School for the annual Easter egg hunt. Children and parents mingled with others while waiting for the event to start. At about one o'clock, the Easter egg hunt began. The event was broken down into age groups, starting with the infant group first and worked its way to the oldest group, which was 12 years old. Nine-year-old Liam Peterson tells me when searching for eggs, he had a specific strategy. Well, it was very competitive when I was doing the Easter egg hunt. Like, I, I was planning out my route, going like, I think I should go here, 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 and here. And then I tried to follow that route, but I really didn't. And, and I ended up getting a lot of eggs. Shelby Morrison, village clerk for the village of Hershey, says the Easter egg hunt had over 90 prize baskets that were donated by local businesses and families. She tells me about her proudest moments when preparing for the Easter egg hunt event. The proudest moment actually for me is preparing for it because so many community members come together, whether it's donating the baskets, offering to help fill eggs, um, pretty much anything we need, they're there to help. And the same with like setting up. We had um, the FBLA helped, the National Honor Society helped, um, the youth group helped. Um, so I would say the more proud moment is preparing for it because there's no, there's an abundance of help. Morrison said if kiddos found a golden ticket in their Easter eggs, they were entered into a drawing to win either a yearly pass to North Platte's Children's Museum or a six-foot-tall Easter stocking filled with goodies from Hershey's Superfood.